Hey everybody, it's Nicky V97 here, and this is loud. A little better. Alright, so this is part 37 of my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. In this part, we are going to head down this way, and we're going to find out what's down this flight of stairs. Uh, anything over here? Nope. How about over here? No, I'm checking to see if there's any other hidden item boxes. Doesn't look like there are. What about down here? This looks a little bit suspicious. Nope. Uh, what about over here? Oh, there's somebody. This is discrimination. Why did they single me out for these extra assignments? Maybe they're trying to pay you better. Did you ever think of that, maybe? They're still packing left for the, for the move out of this lab. Whoa, 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 who are you? You're suspicious, therefore you must be intruders. That's not exactly very good logic, Myron. Well, that, that almost sounds like it could be the name of an actual human being! Holy crap! Oh, and all you have is Voltorb? That's interesting. I wonder if one of them's Shadow. That'd be kind of weird. But anyway, uh, wanted to talk about a couple things really quickly. Number one, um, and possibly the biggest news of the day, uh, the, at least in terms of video game stuff, the Generation 5 Pokemon English names have been leaked. Now, I haven't taken a look at all of them. They, there's at least a few of them that are kind of just plain, ugh. Like, for example, um, Giga Gear is turning into, like, Clink, Clink Clank or something like that. It, it's something ridiculous. Now it goes from, uh, Gear, Giga Gear, and Giga Gear to Clink Clank and Clink Clank. And I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that one. I mean, what do you want? It's a gear. But at the same time, it could have come up with something like that. But I'm nitpicking. Um, what am I, what am I still thinking of, though? But, yeah, I'm not too worried about the Generation 5 English names. Uh, like Slowflake says, just give it a couple of weeks. Or I'll make you regret seeing me? Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? A card key. Oh, yeah, I regret this. Oh, that's the card key. Now I can get into the lab. Okay. What's down this flight of stairs? I feel like I've been here before. Hmm. <laughs> kind of a nice touch. And over here we have three elixirs. That could come in handy. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about the English names. We're not going to really care about them in a couple of weeks. They'll, ev they'll eventually just grow on us. But, uh, anyway, kind of some cool news on my side. Um, this Saturday, I am going to have a story that I wrote published in or on the TSG forum. Like, they have this thing going where um, you can write in st Pokemon-related stories... To, or, I guess, in anticipation of the TSG Marathon, or the TSG Pokemon Marathon coming up this March. And every Wednesday and Saturday, they publish, or they, I guess, yeah, publish a new person's story. Well, I wrote a story on a Pokemon in need of an evolution, and God knows there's a lot of them. Hey, what's this? A DNA sample. Okay, what, what's it a DNA sample of? Hang on, I'll get back to my oh so exciting story in just a second. Alright, where is it? DNA Okay. Well, it's just a DNA sample right now. Oh! Oh, hey, intruder alert. <laughs> that sounded almost kind of friendly. Cole! Finally! A real person's name! I know people named Cole! True, it's more of a last name, but still, I'll take my victories where I can get them. Oh, crap, I forgot to change around my stuff or my lead out Pokemon. But anyway, yeah, it's gonna be about, you know, Pokemon who need an evolution, and oh, we got a Shadow A Palm! Okay, we're gonna have to be careful with that. But, keep getting off, off topic, but yeah, I'm gonna have my story published, which is pretty cool. Ha, you're confused. Wait. Maybe it'll KO itself. 
ugly. Hilarious. Alright, come on. Come on. Aww. I was hoping that it would, like, kill itself with the confusion recoil, but oh well. But, um, yeah. Pokemon in need of an evolution. Uh, how about this? In the comments, uh, name off the Pokemon that you think needs an evolution more than any other. Like, personally, in my opinion, and the one that's, like, first out on the, uh, like, the first one that you see on the story is far-fetched. But, Lord knows, there's plenty of them that need an evolution. And if you want to start a flame war in the chat or something, say Blissey! That could be fun. And remember, it's dead. But yeah, those were the two big things that I wanted to mention. The uh, leak of the Generation 5 names. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Water cap. Oh, right, all right. The, uh, Ferret started, uh, like, he made it rain. <laughs> wow. Did I just say what I think I just said? That's funny. He made it rain. Oh, okay, I thought the cast form, like, might get back some HP or something from that, but oh well. Let's get one more hit off with Espeon before it completely bites the dust. Very good. Sorry, Espeon. I'll revive you just as soon as I can. Um... Go with him, Pharos. I need to go ahead and paralyze a Tom so he can be ripe for the picking. And down goes Cast Form. I thought it would be funny if, like, when Cast Form faints, like the that little water drop kind of explodes. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of interesting. All right. Use bite to start whittling it down and uh Thunder Wave. Oh, dang, another female I try and get off attract, but every uh shadow Pokemon that I seem to run into is female, so Ampharos can't get off a attract. This is annoying. And the game doesn't believe in lesbianism, I guess. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, uh, let's see. Is there anything I can do real quickly? Not really. Okay, so Ampharos is basically useless now. I don't really have anything that I can do at the moment. Oh, wow. Come on, cops. almost about to go up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, well that's a, that's a good thing, I guess. Okay, I really don't want to use another bite because that will probably be enough for the KO. At least it might. Up the rain stops. Doesn't matter since cast forms no longer in the ring, but oh well. All right, I am going. Use Secret Power with Umbreon. I think that will get his HP down just enough. But in the meantime, I'll use Hitmontop's turn to throw my first Great Ball and see if we can avoid all these shenanigans. One, two, a three. Okay, cool. We didn't have to rely on secret power, and we went through Hitmontop's body. <laughs> That's the second Pokemon that the camera kind of just went through the other Pokemon's body. Why am I the loser? Because your shadow, because your shadow Pokemon, your big bad shadow Pokemon, was a bloody a palm. Not even an ambi palm. An a palm. I know ambi palm didn't exist at this point, but still, you probably could have find, could have probably found somebody better than freaking ambi or freaking amb. A-Palm? 
Sheesh. But, uh, anyway, let me just go back and heal up my Pokemon really quickly. We're already over 10 minutes, wow. Okay, let me just do this really quickly. Uh, Alright. Switch it around. La -di da da And I think Hitmontop took some damage too, so we'll do that for him as well. Um, let's see, is there anybody else? Um, nope, looks good. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and end this part off right here. Uh, in the next part, we will continue back through the Shadow Pokemon Lab. So this has been Nicky B97 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 38 of my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. I will see you next time.